Have you ever been relaxing in your garden and then later discover to your horror that you have missed a package? Smart doorbells can often be expensive and I'm going to show you how to make an alternative that's extremely cheap and fun and easy to make. So let's get to it. The parts we are going to need for this build are an ESP8266. Pretty much all variants are fine, just make sure that it has an analog pin so we can take measurements from analog sensors. I shall link below which parts I am using. A simple piezo sensor. These are very common and are as cheap as chips. They just sense vibrations. A DC to DC converter. I'm using a B05050S. This is to be used to isolate the power from the USB power plug to the board. This is because there is too much noise in the power for the board and it will just keep giving you false positives on the piezo sensor. And that means the doorbell will not stop going off. This component will clean up the power nicely. Optionally, I'm going to use a capacitor on the power rail of the board. This is because the converter is rated at one watt meaning at 5 volts it can deliver a maximum current of 200 milliamps in theory. I know that some ESP boards spike at 500 milliamps occasionally, so hopefully it should help. Also, you will need a 1 mega ohm resistor and a bunch of jumper wires. So let's build it. Firstly, grab your breadboard, then your ESP8266. My one doesn't quite fit properly on my breadboard, however, we are only going to be using the pins on one side of this particular board, so plugging it in like this is fine for me. Next we want to grab our DC to DC converter. We want to connect the four pins accordingly. Connect pin 1 to your ground rail, pin 2 to your 5 volt rail, pin 3 to the ground on the 8266 and pin 4 to the voltage in on the 8266. Next grab your capacitor and bridge the voltage in and ground pins. This is optional as the board still seems to work without the capacitor. Connect the 1 mega ohm resistor to the ground and analog zero. We then want to grab our piezo sensor, connect the ground to the ground on the board we are using for the resistor and the positive to A0 on the 8266, like so. Next we will need to sign up to SmartNest. This will be the Alexa skill we will be using for the doorbell. Go to smartnest.cz and sign up and log in. Add a new device and call it what you like. This is what Alexa will know your doorbell as. You can change this in Alexa as well. The type needs to be doorbell and that's it. Then click view. We will need this device ID for later. So copy and paste it somewhere for now, along with your username and password you just made. You may also need to enable your doorbell, which you can do by clicking the little switch. Just there. And that's it. Time to do the sketch in Arduino. First things first, to use Arduino with an 8266 you will need to download the correct boards manager. Firstly enter in the boards manager URL in the preferences, go to file preferences and paste the URLs in the description below. You will need to go to the tools, boards, Boards Manager, type in ESP8266 and install the latest version. You'll then need to download a specific library included in this sketch. Go to Tools, Manage Libraries and find and install Pub Sub Client, all one word.
Download the sketch in the description of this video and open it. You'll need to change the Wi-Fi credentials to your Wi-Fi credentials exactly. Your MQTT username and password and client. This can be found on SmartNest as previously shown. The only other thing you might need to change in this sketch is the sensitivity of the sensor. This will change how hard or soft the knocks have to be on your door in order to set the doorbell off. This can be found right at the bottom of the sketch. I have it set to a default of 40, which seemed to work fine for me. The lower the number, the more sensitive it is. You can get a good idea of how sensitive you need to set this by using the serial plotter in the tools. And this will show you the peaks of your knocks and their corresponding value. Upload the sketch and you are good to go. So go to the Alexa app on your phone or device, skills and games, search for smart nest and enable the skill. Alexa should automatically pick up your new doorbell. You can change the settings in your doorbell, such as the name that Alexa will call out and the actual doorbell. After you're happy with your breadboard prototype, you can then proceed to soldering this to a piece of perfboard or just simply stuff it all into a housing like I've done. I've used a small little medicine pot. These are actually really ideal for boards of this size as they're dirt cheap to get, you know, hundreds of these. Someone is at the front door, you s Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos using tech wizardry to upgrade your house and make it into a really cool, entertaining place where your friends are gonna be incredibly jealous of you, uh, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot for watching, goodbye. Alexa, lights out.